My name is Vitaly, this is my friend Nazar, one of the strongest calisthenics athletes in Ukraine. And today we've got two athletes, four rounds, 45 seconds each, and pure strength calisthenics. So let's get down to business. Let's find out who goes first, first me or Nazar. So we're gonna kick the coin. If it's hats, then I go first. If it's tails, then Nazar goes. It's hats, meaning that me, I'm going first. So let's do this. Right, 
Давай, 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 давай. Давай, братан, давай! Камон! Камон! Тащи! Давай, давай, давай! Питягуй, давай! Ей, хорош! Держа! finish these four rounds. Я уже не можу. Капець, це тяжко не думаєш, 4 раунда по 45 секунд це жесть. It was so intense. За то виносливість прокачується. In the very in the very end in the fourth round I barely did a straddle Maltese and front lever like a single front lever. Right, so I think it's time to break down what has just happened. Basically, it was a battle type training, which is different from the actual battle because we are not seeking for winner and loser. Uh, we're just doing it to show, first of all, to show the actual form because we don't have possibility to show our skills um, in the comp competition for obvious reasons. We are here in Ukraine, in Kiev city uh, during war, so that's the only chance for us to basically keep up the form and to improve our endurance. So yeah, it's basically a good type of training for every athlete who, who is preparing for the upcoming competition. You should be ready for any type of, con of a condition, even for four or five rounds. <laughs> By the way, we just noticed that I did an extra round, not four, but the fifth. I was just mistaken because I was going wild, like four rounds straight with just strength calisthenics. It was absolutely mental for me and I, I just went, went off and uh, I didn't even notice that I went for the fifth round. <laughs> Давай, 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 давай. Давай, давай, давай. 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 Давай, давай.
Right, so apparently I want to thank all the guys uh, who supported me um, in the role of camera operators, this Mikita, uh, Sergei and uh, Volodymyr who was uh, counting the seconds for us. I'm just really thankful for these guys because during such uh, intense time they really helped me to create a content for YouTube. So thank you guys. Any shit. <laughs> This picture right here was taken one year ago during Ukrainian calisthenics championship which took its place uh, in Kharkiv city which is eastern Ukraine. Now after Russians fully invaded Ukraine and committed genocide against Ukrainians and still do this 
Kharkiv looks like this, basically as the majority of Ukrainian lands. However, my friends from Kharkiv city, who used to organize Ukrainian championships, didn't leave the city, they become volunteers, and they basically provide civilians with uh, food and medicaments. They provide food to elderly and children. You can literally see all of uh, their reactions in these videos and photos. Since that video doesn't have any ad, I ask you guys to donate to my friends from Kharkiv because they need their money at scale. You can literally feed Ukrainians by your money. Uh, even one, two dollars would be enough because there is no such thing as a small donation. Of course, I will add up all the requisites, PayPal and uh, bank sources uh, down in the description of this video so that you can literally donate and uh, help us Ukrainians during this challenging time. Thank you. Explosions.